Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, we're back at last after five fallow months, welcoming you once more onto the breach, dear friends, for the best in video game entertainment. So for tonight's first challenge, let's renew our acquaintance with the great man himself, the Games Master. Greetings. How nice of you to join me once again. For this week's first challenge, I thought I'd test your nerve on Marble Madness. The object of the game is simply to guide a marble through a series of mazes. So get rolling and don't lose your marbles. And attempting to control his balls on this challenge is Mark Hockfield. <laughs> to Games Master 2, The Second Coming. Each week we'll be ferrying challengers and other minions out here to our converted all rig stroke holiday camp combination. Here they'll face rough seas, howling winds, and the verbose vernacular of The Games Master. Thank you and welcome to Games Master, a truly swashbuckling blend of video game news, tips, reviews, and challenges. Coming to you from our special offshore camp where men are men and the halibut get nervous. So, who will walk away with tonight's golden joint? Finally, three cheers for consumer exploitation. It's the characteristics. Gone are the days of playing around with your own small and rather insignificant joystick. Instead, you've got the chance to deftly caress Batman's bulge or do the same with the aliens, fiddly bits. Got various different characters here. They've got Terminator 2 and Bart Simpson. But on the whole, an excellent range. I'm really pretty impressed with it, and I'd buy that any day. Well, the diver got quite wet with those ones. Now it's time for everyone to pucker up for tonight's second challenge. The salty spray licking against our legs with nothing but our protective hoods for comfort. Now, while our two competitors get to grips with their helmets, if you'd like to see if the London Road bravado of Andy Thompson could tackle the Antipodean might of Richard Norton, any join tips for them? Well, strategically speaking, they both need to head for the crossbow, which is in the centre of the arena. There is one each, uh, and obviously with that, they can take each other on without any of this messy hand-to-hand -hand business. But they can also perform quite well with the chopper, nonetheless. So I've been told. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sail down. Yes, it's New Year's Eve on the Games Playing Resort, the one night of the year I can shed my red coat garb and slip into something a bit more feminine. But even out here on the rig, the panto spirit is alive and obviously kicking. Even Auntie Marisha has shed her penny for the first time since VE Day and returned to Mother Nature. You can actually see her up there on the gallery. Can we give her a little bit of a ripple? Can we give her a little bit of a wave, Auntie Marisha? Now? I tell you, they don't make... Now, David, you're obviously a very confident young man from the way you leap down those stairs. Yeah. How are you getting on with this rather novel joystick? Well, it's pretty tough, but hopefully my bangs will come in and I'll get to Uranus. Okay, David, if you'd like to take a seat, get your helmet in your hands and get ready to start. Much indeed. Now listen, Jeremy, any tips for our young competitor here? Well, he's got to bang his helmet as quickly as possible. How like life, eh, Dominic? How like life? That's the thing in the bottom right-hand corner here. Now, they seem to be attacking in waves here. You basically you want to keep your helmet in a stiff, sort of straight position. You certainly do. A stiff of a better, a straight of a better. You must look after your helmet at all costs. He's going to have to start wiping out some... Let's hope you'll now be able to get a little further into the game. Next. Good Lord, what are you doing up here? At the beginning of the London level of Dalek attack, I've heard there's an extra life and weapon to help me get started. Do you know where they are? 
<laughs> Impudent scamp. Run through the River Thames and climb to the top of the building you see on your far left. When you reach the top, leap as far to the right as you can. Platform steps will miraculously appear underneath you. If you take seven more steps to the right and jump, another platform will appear. Keep jumping left and right until you leap across to catch the extra lives and bonuses. This will triple the power of your sonic screwdriver and make it easier for you to destroy the ogre guarding the prison door. Thank you, Games Master, oh venerable one. My pleasure, young man. Send my regards to your relations. <laughs> well, blow me. I'm terribly sorry. I think you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> Next, please. I am so pleased you've returned. It can get a mite isolated up here, not to mention a little chilly around the girders. Not that we won't warm you up in my second... <laughs> Aha! Time to settle some old scores. Don't mind me. <laughs> My second choice. I've opted for a... Well, well, that's the dinner gong, which means it's supper time on the rig. Mandy Mauritius... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that, I'm just hearing news that Auntie Marisha has in fact blown up a brand new pine-fitted kitchen. It's a disaster of epic proportions. Hopefully we'll be back next week. In the meantime, if there are any old age pensioners on the rig, as I dash for the lifeboat leaving Auntie Marisha floundering in my wake, I've just got time to tell you you can still join the Games Master Club. Members receive badges, stickers, posters and other paraphernalia. To join, send a cheque or post Lord of Four, £11.15 to the Games Master Club, PO Box 91, London E14, 9GT. Or if writing's a hassle, call 0891 600 123. Calls cost 36p a minute cheap rate and 48p a minute at all other times. You must have permission before you make the call.